Wow. So um, they're getting ready to battle each other, They're getting right? ready to battle. Yeah, by all means, watch. So we're going to see it right you're, now. You're, you're hey. about to see it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lay on. Lay on's command to start. So they had a plan. They split their two groups up. They're going to move in and probably try to flank. Crossbow bolt went flying. Yeah, fighter's calling himself dead. The spearman's calling himself dead from the arrow to the face. Okay. So what you had was Teron felt for safety they were pushing too close this way. Gotcha. So he called a hold to stop that uh, small group that was fighting right there, what we call a local hold. Right. The other guys, because they weren't involved in it, they kept fighting until a couple other guys fell down, and then they called a general hold to stop all the fighting. And everybody freezes in place. Everybody freezes in place, you know, relaxes a little bit, maybe takes a step. Anyone who's quote unquote dead gets up and gets out. Everybody gets back to where they were when hold was called and starts fighting again. Yeah. Being down on the ground is not necessarily cause a hold. Um, it's when you're on the ground and people are tripping and falling over you. But you know, we don't want broken ankles. And you'll see how they don't necessarily leave the field. They just fall back a little bit when fall they're back, out. Yeah. Uh, that's called a shield check. <laughs> and the decor on the outside of the shields means something to it's, each person, it's right? Unit, it's heraldry. Um, yeah, okay. Sometimes it's... It's what they use in the Middle Ages to identify units and people and tell okay. your opponents who you were. A lot of times you needed to know your the enemy side's heraldry because I don't necessarily want to kill a knight. Mm -hmm. I want to capture him if I can mm -hmm. and then contact his family and have them pay ransom for it. Yeah. So I have to know what his heraldry is or I can go, yeah, that guy, he's just a man at arms. There's probably nobody's going to pay ransom. Yeah, right. I'm not going to capture him and then be responsible for feeding and protecting and clothing Absolutely. and all that yeah he's just an enemy gotcha but the knights i maybe i want to capture them and ransom them out the heraldry also allows your own teammate and your commanders to look at it and go who are those guys okay that's my reserve unit yes yeah, send them in now mm -hmm. and it allows when you get two thousand people on the side out here mm -hmm. the commanders are standing where we are and over by that tree line wow and they're sending runners to different units to say you know they're punching through over there reinf you know take house hedgehog and reinforce there mm -hmm. take barony of sacred stone and punch through and exploit a gap right there mm -hmm. you know, it's actual tactical command and battlefield wow. situation wow it's one of the things i enjoy about the game yeah <laughs> um so some of it is personal heraldry of the person. Some of the guys are fighting in unit levies. Um, so they'll have that group's heraldry on it, maybe not their personal. Um, a lot of times a knight will have his heraldry and his squires and men-at-arms will have a simplified version or a spin-off of the knight's heraldry. I have engaged this entire unit. It is not four on one at that point. I will do so.